Light winds down at the start at Skydive Dubai for the traditional dash up Hatterdam, the third time in the history of the Dubai Tour that they have raced up the almost iconic climb of Hatterdam. Elia Viviani would have his work cut out to defend his slender advantage over Mark Cavendish just four seconds as they went past the beach and out into the desert once more. What would await them? Well, the usual attacks came as the flag dropped and a breakaway eventually established itself of six men, including two from Team Rally, and they would play a significant part in the unfolding of the race. Robin Carpenter and young Brandon McNulty, just 19 years of age, joined by uh, Simone Bevilacqua, and he was the only rider who'd already been in a breakaway on the Dubai Tour of 2018. Meanwhile, Dylan Grenewegen in the red jersey of the points competition, sat back in the peloton, uninvolved as Chris Williams from Team Nordisk took maximum points at the first intermediate sprint, denying Bevil Aqua the opportunity to close the gap in those standings. He got maximum points at the final intermediate sprint, which put him on 12 points overall and level with Nathan Van Hoydonk going into the final stage. Meanwhile, the breakaway then splintered with under 50 kilometers to go. First there were three, and then there was just one man out there on his own, young Brandon McNulty, creating a real problem for Quickstep Floors and for Elia Viviani, as well as the big favorites of the day, who had their work cut out on the rolling terrain towards Hatter to try and uh, keep pegs on this man. Connor Dunn was used up eventually, and McNulty was on his own with 10 kilometers to go, with a very slender advantage, but still the belief that he could pull off an extraordinary Extraordinary solo victory. It was then Bahrain Merida who got on the front trying to set things up for Sonny Colbrelli. And in the final 200 metres, the 20% gradient of Hatter Dam took its toll on young McNulty, who took a 30 second advantage to the foot of the climb, only to see it wiped out by a marauding peloton. His legs locked up, the speed got scrubbed off by the steep gradient, and then they came flying at him. It was an Italian duo, first of all, Giacomo Nizzolo from Trek Segafredo. But Sonny Colbrelli, all the while, with his muscular sprinting style, was pulling away on these steep slopes. He passed McNulty in the closing metres of the climb to thrust his way to victory, joined by Timo Rosen from Team Lotto NL Jumbo, the lead-out man for Dylan Grunewagen, and a great effort from Magnus Court Nielsen to steal second place. Sonny Colbrelli the winner, though, in style. He moves up the general classification standings courtesy of a 10 second time bonus and so too does Magnus Court Nielsen at the end of the day Elia Viviani on the Viviani. same time at sixth place defended his blue jersey so with one stage left to go these are the overall standings just two seconds now to Magnus Court Nielsen in second place for Viviani